There's a new AI tool for YouTube creators that I've been using every single day and it's completely changed how I make YouTube videos and I think you'll do the same for you too. This platform is called Spotter Studio and I've partnered with them for this video to show you exactly how to use it. They got some really interesting things built into this platform that takes a lot of brainstorming and ideation off your plate. I'll show you how to brainstorm different video ideas, how to use the outlier tab to see what your competitors are doing. I'll show you how to create much better titles and thumbnails using some of the tools built into Spotter Studio. Now, if you wanna follow along with me, Spotter Studio gave me a special link that I'll add in the description below this video, which will give you a 60 day free trial, completely for free. You have to link your YouTube accounts and you will also have to add a credit card but there is no charge whatsoever for 60 days. This is twice as many free trial days as if you just go directly to Spotter Studio. And on the next page, just go ahead and sign up with your Google account and it will link to your YouTube channel. Just pick the right YouTube channel on the next page. Now here we are inside of Spotter Studio. I've actually linked a brand new account and I tied it to my AI channel. I have a different AI channel that I think will actually show you a better way on how this works and you will have all kinds of different things that you could do that I'm gonna show you in this video. But the first place to start, you could just start right up here. This is gonna help you brainstorm. So this is a great AI powered brainstorming partner. Now, the first thing is we're gonna come up with much better titles than what I'm gonna be able to do just off the top of my head. So I'll just type in something like this. I'm creating a video about an AI tool for YouTube creators and I'm gonna leave this on title. There's some other options here I'll show you in a second. And I'm just gonna press go. Now it brings us to this page. This is your projects page and it's given us a bunch of different ideas for our title. So here's a good one. Optimize YouTube content in minutes with AI. This AI tool just revolutionized YouTube creation a whole lot better than AI tool for YouTube creator, right? That's not very clickable. So typically when you make YouTube videos, you want people to click. That's the obvious first step. And you only have two ways to get people to do that. One is your title, which I'm showing you here. Then it's your thumbnail, which this also helps you with brainstorming and coming up with ton of different ideas for your thumbnail. So I'm gonna choose this one and I could go ahead and press continue on it and actually change it a little bit. So for example, I could rephrase it. This is gonna give me new ideas based on that initial one. Game changing AI tool for YouTube creators unveiled. Maybe I'll just take the unveiled part out, but I could just continue to brainstorm. Maybe I just want a shorter version of that. I'll click that. It's gonna give me shorter versions of that same one. And it keeps what I had before. So I could kind of compare them all. Here's a mood shift example. Finally, the AI tool that gets YouTube creators, right? So very simple to use. And then if you wanna save it for later, you could save it for later, or you could just copy it and then put it directly into your YouTube channel as you're uploading this exact video. Now I'm gonna go back to this one. I actually really like this first one in the initial draft. So I'll just go ahead and keep this one. This is gonna become my YouTube title down here. Now this is also gonna let you create a hook. That's the intro for your video. The first 10 seconds of your video by far the most important on YouTube. We'll get back to this in a second. Right now I wanna show you this thumbnail ideation because right now you wanna focus on getting people to click and then your hook is gonna retain them. And as you retain them longer in your video, especially in the very intro where most people drop off, the better the video is gonna perform. Now this thumbnail option is really interesting and very powerful because it has access to your YouTube channel. It's just not guessing on the type of thumbnail that you would want. You could blend it between your style of thumbnails and YouTube best practices. You could even customize these with your own picture. I'll show you that in a minute. Now I've been on YouTube for eight years, so I use a lot of YouTube best practices, but I'll show you right down the middle here. And then you could change the thumbnail style. Now this is for ideation. I still take it to Canva or Photoshop and create my thumbnails, but you can get different ideations based on realistic concept art or sketch. I'll show you concept art right over here. Now down here, you could describe your audience description. Who are they? Now I'm going to put YouTube creators for mine and then any additional details that you wanna type out. I'm gonna leave it empty for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and generate from here, and I'm gonna to go to my thumbnail tab to see the thumbnail. Okay, so here's a bunch of new ideas. It's telling you what text to, to put on screen, it's telling you what kind of reaction you should have, it's telling you what kind of background you should have. Here's the next one. I point a lot in my thumbnail, so it's giving me this option. So you could go ahead and continue from there and do the same thing I did with the titles. So that's pretty cool, but you could actually personalize your thumbnails based on a picture of you. So all you have to do is go to your profile picture right here and go to settings. And then let's go to this channels tab right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. 
And then right here, you would add a picture of yourself. That's going to personalize your thumbnail. So let me go back to show you what that did now. Okay, so I did concept art again right in the middle. And look at this. This is a lot more like it. So typically, I would recommend as you set up your account, you add your photo. It's wearing kind of the same kind of hat. The shirt is very similar. I either wear a black shirt or a shirt, a collar shirt like this. The text, nice and bold. Sometimes I use different thumbnails like this in my creation and I got some of those ideations from Spotter and then I could go ahead and create any different type of variations. Let me actually change the composition here. <laughs> Look at and this is pretty funny because I point a lot in my thumbnails which I found from A-B testing ton of thumbnails for some reason pointing at the thing you're talking about always outperforms when I'm not pointing. So it's showing different variations of that and this is the different styles that I use in my thumbnails. I actually like this one. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one for my thumbnail. So we got a title, we got a thumbnail. What about this hook right here? Let's go over here and it's going to go ahead and generate automatically and it's going to give us a bunch of different ideas. Now, these are not things I would just read out loud. This is just giving you an idea of how to open your video because again, that's the third critical. If I was focusing on getting more views, the ideation, basically the title that is helping you design is going to help you with getting people to click along with your thumbnail. That's your two. Then your hook is very important because your retention is going to increase if you get people hooked right in the beginning of the video. Now, for this very first video, I used a variation of this one when I was brainstorming it, and I'll get some variations just to kind of show you. Now, here's a bunch of different ideas in the hook. So this AI tool creates short documentary by gathering, editing, and piercing together interviews. Now, I specifically had a hook for Spotter, so I made it more specific to Spotter. But these kind of hooks where you say, hey, this AI tool could change how you make YouTube videos, which was the hook for this video, was from ideating with this a few different times and using this prompt box over here and then using this general audience description and filling that out as I continued. So a five minute process, I got my title, I got my thumbnail and I got my hook and I'm ready to just start creating from there. Now, let me show you this outliers tab, probably my favorite thing inside of here because this is not something I could even do if I take all the time in the world to do that, because this will scan all of YouTube, it will scan channels that you give it as well, and it will show you these outliers, meaning this video performed three to times better than the average video on that specific channel. So this is for all of YouTube, but you could do the ones that your audience also watches. So in those videos similar to yours, this is all AI related because I linked my AI channel here, and I could see right here, three times better, 3.1 times better. Llama 3.3. This one is 2.5 times better. So it looks like Llama 3.3 is the video I should probably focus on for my upcoming content. Now, I also could look at my favorite channels. So these are some of the channels that I watch regularly and I could see, okay, this one performed 1 1.9 times better and then I could go see how the hook of that video was or I could just go ahead and brainstorm directly from here this is going to give me new ideas based on that outlier video. How easy is that to come up with new ideas for your channel? Now, if you click your profile and go to the settings menu right here, if you go to the channels tab, this is where you could add additional channels over here of creators you follow, and it will add that to that link in that outliers tab as well. Now, you also have projects, which is typically where I like to create with my other accounts. I'll just go to new project right over here. And then this will bring you right back to this page. So this will help you package up your YouTube videos just like I showed you. So your title, thumbnail, and hook all created from here. Start with a text prompt and then go down and then generate and that will generate everything that you need. Now, I really like this calendars tab too because I try to upload about twice a week and it will show you as you upload your projects it will show you that on your existing calendar. So if I go back to the previous month, even pulls in information before I link my account, which is really nice. And then I could see how well I did. In this case, let's see, I made seven videos and I typically like to make eight videos. So I was short one and I'll go to this month. And again, I could also mm -hmm. add new projects directly from here. So this is a nice way to create a content calendar for myself right in here, rather than using some random calendar app I have everything I need, including my content calendar in the same place. Now, let me show you the collaboration tool and how to work with team members, which is really nice. If you go to your profile and if you go to settings, 
there's a tab right here for team and you could go ahead and invite different users to your team here. Then if you jump into any project or you create a new project in the property section, you could leave it private. So it's only available to you. But once you have team members, you could select this option and then you could change the status of your project, which is great. So right now I'm in the ideation process for this video. Then I'm gonna be in development. So the filming of the project, then I'm gonna go into post-production and edit the project and then it's ready. And then after it's published, I'll just mark it as published and it's ready to go. I could even put the link here. So at every stage here, it's gonna let you put in some notes. If you have a sponsor for the video, we'll go ahead and type that in. You could change the video type based on the type of channel you have. So this is just a fantastic tool and they have a notepad here where you could just freely write any type of note you want for your project collaborators. And under the history tab, you could see revisions that have been made on this very specific project. Here I am inside of my main account. And as you could see, they designed Spotter Studio to be a one-stop shop. So I have all my different projects over here. The ones I have upcoming that are not published yet, I have a release date for those. So that helps me organize everything into my content calendar that way. If I wanna see all my projects, I could jump in. Sometimes I've even gone back to older videos that are not performing and changed the title and the thumbnail using Spotter Studio. And directly from the homepage, you also have the outliers of creators you follow. So Apple support is the type of videos I make. This one is performing 6.4 times better. So I added it to my scheduled list of upcoming ideas. These are just really incredible tools that have saved me a ton of time. And more importantly, they've increased my click-through rate and my retention on a lot of my videos since I've been using this one. Now, as I mentioned, Spotter gave me a special link that gives you a 60-day free trial. I think the reason why they do that is because they know once you start using it, you'll be hooked. I mean, some of these things that I showed you, I don't know how to make videos without it now without spending a lot more time and go back to the old way that I used to do it. So I think it'd be the same for you. So that is linked in the description below this video. You could sign up, link your account, brainstorm ton of different ideas. I wanna thank Spotter for sponsoring this video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.